James Kirkland steps into the ring against Aramiselli Albert. James Kirkland was on the deck in his last fight in November in the first round against Alan Conyers, but he came storming back, showing explosive power and finishing off Conyers in the first round at 256. Meanwhile, his opponent tonight is Aramiselli Albert. He is a two-time Olympian representing Nigeria in both the 1996 and 2000 games. What type of experience does he have? 568 bouts as an amateur. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape for tonight's first bout of the evening between Kirkland and Albert. Kirkland at 24 years of age, he weighed in at 154 pounds. He rehydrated only four pounds to 158. Albert rehydrated five and a half pounds to 158 pounds. Time for the rules with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. And James Kirkland, Aaron Masali Albert fight is scheduled for 10 rounds using the unified rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions. There is no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. Case of cuts caused by an accidental headbutt. We go to the scorecards if the four rounds have been completed and you cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the 10th and final round. Bob. All right, Harold, we're set for the formal introductions. Here's our ring announcer for the evening, Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen from Terrible's Prim Valley Casino Resorts, Nevada, welcome to the Buffalo Bill Arena where tonight Gary Shaw Promotions and Arena Box Promotions in association with Affliction Clothing are proud to present Boxing After Dark on HBO. All the bouts tonight are sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. The three judges assigned to ringside for this first bout, Dick Howell, Jerry Roth, and Paul Smith. And inside the ring, your referee in charge of the action, Joe Cortez. And now 10 rounds of boxing. This is in the light middleweight division on the line, the vacant NABO championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing green and white official weight, 152 one half pounds, an outstanding professional record consisting of 22 bouts, 21 victories, including 10 knockouts, only one defeat, fighting out of Miami, Florida. Aramozelli, Bad Boy Albert. And fighting out of the red corner, wearing black with white, official weight, 154 pounds. A perfect professional record, 21 bouts, 21 victories, including 18 knockouts. From Austin, Texas, the undefeated G. Kirkland. All right, gentlemen, step back, step back. We went to the rules in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Keep those punches up. Remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch them up. Former female fighter standout Ann Wolf trains James Kirkland. James Kirkland's a natural fighter. And Ann Wolf trains him to be a fighter more than a boxer. And uh, I think you're going to like watching this guy fight because that's what he does. We begin round number one, scheduled for 10. You saw that welt on the head of Aramiselli Albert. It is not something that was incurred during any kind of sparring or training. He's had that since he was a kid. Bob, you see the urgency right away that Kirkland attacks. This is why this guy's so much fun to watch was dropped in round number one in his last fight battle back when we asked him about it, he said, what were you thinking when you got knocked down against Alan Conyers? He said, I got knocked down on TV. People are gonna give me hell. I better get to work. And he certainly did in finishing him off at 256 in the first. Albert loves to go to the body, but right now he's bending his middle half of the body and putting him, oh. And he goes down oh. and he is hurt. Yeah, he Short got hit. shot in the inside. Oh. Oh, I don't think he's gonna make it. He's got blood on his head. He looks very wobbly right now. The referee's taking a good look at him. Let's go. He was down in his only loss against Julio Jean, and he's hurt again, and there he goes, and Joe Cortez stops it. Bob, it seems like his legs wasn't there after that first shot. 
even after Kirkland knocked him down the first time, you could see he was almost angry. Kirkland was almost angry that he couldn't jump right on a guy, that he had to wait eight seconds before he could jump back on his opponent. James Kirkland, now 22-0, gets his 19th stoppage against a tough Aramiselli Albert, a veteran guy with a lot of experience. He had never been stopped, only one loss in his career. Albert wondering what was that shot that hit him because he couldn't believe that he was on the canvas and he still can't believe, you know, what happened. Kirkland landed 10 of 34 punches in the round. All 10 were power shots. Short shot on the inside. Dropped Albert first and then he finished him off. So he's being checked out by the ringside positions. So James Kirkland the 24 year old from Austin, Texas, has battled a lot of problems, born into poverty, spent some time in jail. But let's watch Lennox, his work with the straight left hand. It was one of those shots on the tempo that really, really bug, bugged him there. And he couldn't recover from that shot. And then you saw that nice straight left hand on the inside. Here's another look at it. On the left side of the tempo, wasn't able to recover. And here we look at the second one. Still haven't re really recovered too well. His legs just didn't react to his body the way he would want it to, but uh, you know, it happens sometimes. Yeah, you saw that left hand, then that right to the temple, and then another short, straight left hand by Kirkland, who was sharp, and he took care of business. And you know, sometimes when you step into the ring, you know, everybody says you have to always be warm in that first round, and it seemed like he was a bit cold, Albert. So James Kirkland, who under the guidance of trainer Ann Wolf, they have a very rugged style of training. They do some things that are quite unorthodox as far as how they train. Sometimes you'll spar, then they'll hold him down with four people in the ring and make him have to wrestle his way out. Well, he didn't have to wrestle. He punched his way to a victory. For the official time of the stoppage, Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, He's still undefeated, his record now 22 and oh, 19 KOs from Austin, Texas. James Kirkland. So James Kirkland round pushes Aramiselli Albert, 106 of round number one, with some very crisp, quick, impressive punches. He didn't have to throw a whole lot in round number one, Lennox, to get it all done. No. But he was very effective as far as his punches were concerned. As you take a look at the final punch stats, he threw 34 in that minute six, and he landed 10. And he wasn't messing around with the jab or anything like that as far as his connects, because when you get to the power numbers, 10 of 34 total punches, and all the punches landed were power shots. And that blistering left hand to the head of Aramiselli Albert was the key, 10 of 31 in the power category. So James Kirkland makes fast work of Aramiselli Albert. Albert had wanted this fight back in November. He felt that Kirkland was ducking him. He got the fight in May, and he probably wishes he never had the fight. James Kirkland, the winner, he's with Max Kellerman. James, congratulations on a spectacular knockout. The way you jump on your opponent, Albert, tonight, what are you thinking moments before the opening bell? I just want to have a good time, have a good fight, and show it, show it to the fans is what it's at. You know, we come coming to fight every time, and you know, be able to fight anybody, any, any weight class, I'm, I'm just ready to fight. Uh, after you knocked him down, and you had to wait for the mandatory eight, you almost looked angry, like you had to wait eight seconds to fight this guy some more. What were you feeling after the knockdown? I felt real good. My, uh, my trainer warmed me up real good, and, and, and Pops, they worked with me in the corner back there, and, you know, just sticking to the game plan. Uh, speaking of Ann Wolf, your trainer, Ann, you have this gym in Texas that people are talking about. Some people think you're insane the way you, pr you prepare your fighters. Some people think uh, maybe you're on to something. What did you do to prepare James for this fight tonight? I trained him like a throwback, because all this new boxing, we go back to the old school. We do things that you ain't gonna never see in here. If you, if you play with a puppy, you're licking in the mouth. When you come to the gym, there's bulldogs in there. You better be a bulldog when you're gonna get eight alive. James, how does your preparation 
in Ann Wolf's gym prepared you for tonight? I've been, I've been training two months for this fight right here, getting prepared, and I don't never underestimate anybody that I fight. I give him my all, and I come to fight like as a killer, you know. I'm coming to do what I have to do. James, quickly, before we let you go, who are you looking out there at 154 pounds or any weight class that you really want? 154, I want to take it all. So anybody in that weight class, I'm ready and I'm waiting and I'm ready to enjoy the, the you know, the, you know, ready for anybody. Eat. Thanks, James. Bob. All right, Max. Well, a very impressive performance by James Kirkland. He's got Ann Wolf. She was a talented fighter when she was in the ring. And Pops Billingsley is someone who helped. James Kirkland really get his life on track because he was headed for nowhere fast had a trouble with the law but he stayed focused on his craft and Lennox we saw him dismantle a veteran guy in Albert someone with a lot of experience who had never been stopped before we've talked about his unorthodox training methods with Ann Wolf what did you see out of James Kirkland that you liked in this fight tonight well you know he came out with the mental aspect you know he came out like a caged animal he just wanted to search and destroy and that's what he did he didn't want to waste any punches he just wanted to go out there and fight you know he was hungry for this fight and he definitely showed it tonight what about the training routine that he's going through with <laughs> Ann Wolf so many crazy things they have a heavy bag tied on the back of a truck they go backwards with the truck he has to hit the bag yeah, holding him down having people hit him in the gym and he can't hit back that's great great stuff because I actually first seen that when Ann Wolf was doing that and, you know what I'm saying she's running on the street and there's a bag on the back of the truck I should try that you know what I mean there's some good uh, methods out there of training you know you could blow bubbles and somebody punch in the bubbles so everybody's got their own idea of training and their own training methods so I think that's a great training method that she's putting him under because it's definitely uh, working for him can't see you hitting bubbles <laughs>